Hey everyone, it's Saturday, 314, March 14th. The toughest puzzle of the day, potentially, of the week, sorry, on the table today. We will see what we have in store, but uh, I'm excited to be here. And if you're watching this, in about 45 minutes, we are going to be live on twitch.tv slash chess for Nakamura's Knockouts. So I will be hosting along with Akaro Nakamura. Pretty pumped. Make sure that if you're catching this video at 12.15 or so Pacific Time on Saturday, March 14th, that you head over to twitch.tv slash chess and check out the show. Let's do it. If you haven't already, go solve it. Here we go. Okay, we have Past Pawn Power. And we have a Past Pawn on D6, if I haven't ever seen one myself. And um, along with that, we have the potential threats of discoveries on the Queen, maybe, with C6. There's no checks. Queen to B2 check is a move to consider, but if free moves, I don't see anything. Obviously, doing anything crazy like taking D7 or taking on uh, B7 doesn't make a lot of sense. But C6 seems pretty straightforward. We're unleashing a discovery on the Queen, and there's no Queen to B1 check. Always check for checks from your opponent, especially if the move you're considering is not one that limits the opponent's options, as we've talked about in this sort of calculation strategy of how to approach uh, combinations. But c6, queen takes b5, a takes b5, b takes c6, b takes c6, looks completely winning. The only thing that's tricky is that's not normally a uh, daily puzzle solution to end with something, I don't want to say not impactful, it looks like that position is pretty easily winning for white, but there's no, no serious loss of material that's been had yet. So let's, but let's go with it. I don't see any other option besides c6. Okay, correct. Obviously, we must take back. And after he takes, we must take. And if he moves the rook, he doesn't, he doesn't move the rook. It's solved already. Well, that was um, a little easier than I thought, actually. A little more straightforward than I expected, I guess, building up to the toughest puzzles of the week. But okay, we can still learn something from this. Uh, mainly here, you know, it, it might be easy to focus on something with the open king or something else concrete, but sometimes the uh, the name of the daily puzzle gives you a little bit of a clue uh, as far as where to where to be focusing your efforts. And here it's pretty obvious. Obviously, we have this pawn here, and there's not a lot of other candidate moves besides this move c6 that really jump out at you. So, And as far as ending the combination here, I think it's pretty obvious that wherever this rook moves... Um, I guess it won't let us move the rook, but pushing either pawn is going to be easily winning. Uh, pushing the D or the C pawn, followed by pushing the second one. And of course, there's probably other ways to win. You could push the D pawn and then have the bishop help out, which would probably also be winning in a lot of scenarios. Um, the one thing to know would be to be very careful that your king can't catch his A pawn. So if you made some blunder like rook D8, D7, um, king F6... Bishop c7, king e7, after takes, takes. His king is stopping the pawn, so you better be aware that you can stop the pawn. Uh, and actually you can, because you're within the box. You know the box uh, works like this, on the diagonal. Imaginary box based on the uh, corresponding diagonal square. So if it's white to play, we know that he gets in the box. King f2, a5, king e2, a4, king d2, a3, king c2, a2, king b2. And just as the science says, that's uh, geometry, Holmes. White would be winning. So I guess White would be winning even in a line like that. But good to be aware of those sort of things. And that sort of uh, box calculation is quick math. But don't forget, pawns move twice on the first move. So if uh, you're not able to stay within the box on the two-move push, you might miscalculate something like that. But okay, that's just us sort of reaching for more instruction than we actually got out of this position. We'll go ahead and replay it again in case you missed it. I think you probably, if you missed it, were just focused on the open king a little too much and maybe just... Um, didn't recognize the power of having two connected passers on the sixth rank. I mean, in many scenarios, two pawns can beat a rook on the sixth rank even without the support of a bishop. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the uh, daily puzzle. And as I said, I hope you will go and join us on chess.com slash TV or twitch.tv slash chess for Nakamura's knockouts. I'm getting pretty excited. I'm pretty pumped. I don't know what's going to happen today. It's going to be magical. Could be. Could be magic. 
I mean, magic, I don't know. Magic might be a little too much, but, you know, magic, it does exist. So, 